What is up everyone and welcome to another donation video. Now, I'm just going to quickly say, before I say anything else, um, a lot of you have emailed me to send me in donations and I've replied with thank you very much but I am no longer accepting donations or at least I'm not accepting donations for now. As you guys know, I am trying, to, trying my absolute hardest to clear out my stuff and it is really, really hard when I get more stuff in to clear out stuff. So I'm trying to only stick to getting the stuff in that I absolutely need. Now, of course, recently I've got an awesome donation from Christian, which is this camera, which is a very nice quality camera and it is working surprisingly well and I'm still you know getting used to it but we're, we're getting we're getting better and better each video in terms of picture quality in my opinion and um, so that was a brilliant donation from Christian and so kind of him and Matt has actually donated this um, and it has something to do with the Hackintosh he said it has something to do with the Hackintosh and he actually sent it to me um, without telling me that he was sending it or whatever he just said hey Tom there's something in the post for you because he had my address from the previous donation so, huge, huge thank you to Matt in France. Um, his last donation was really cool, and he also included a little video clip, which was nice. Um, it's nice when people do that. And I do speak to Matt every now and again on Facebook, and he's a great guy. So, Matt, cheers, buddy. Um, we're going to roll the intro, and then we're going to check out what he has donated. And uh, I've got a feeling it's going to be something really cool. So like I've mentioned, Matt did say that it was for the Hackintosh project. He said it was something in my Amazon wish list, and then I got a little bit worried because I've already got some Hackintosh components on the way, and uh, the ball is kind of rolling, so the wish list will be going offline very shortly in the next couple of days, just to avoid any mishaps. Um, but as soon as I find out what's in here Hackintosh related, I will uh, remove said item from the wish list. Um, but anyway, here it is. It's in an old Amazon uh, envelope, which is cool. Uh, it's not just the one thing he's including in here. I can tell that there are multiple things in here. Unfortunately, the side has burst open slightly, um, so I hope nothing is missing. Matt will soon be able to tell me. So let's dig into this and uh, take a look at what he's donated. So, first item that we're pulling out is something that is wrapped up in tape, and he has written here. Let's take a look. Works in Hackintosh, OS 10, PCIe, Firewire, ah, awesome, OS 10, 10.10, .10, Yosemite, Firewire 400 times 3, Hackintosh tested. Awesome, Matt, that is awesome, dude. So, as you guys can probably tell, um, where's my scissors? As you guys can probably tell, this is a Firewire card, which is great, because the Firewire card that I had in my wish list was, um, was £50. So this is quite a money saver for me. Now, as you guys can see, it's been previously used. I assume Matt was using it for something. Firewire 400, I only really need it because of my eyesight. So, you know, spending 50 pounds on a PCI card to just for the eyesight was taking the mick a little bit. But I do have, um, I do have a couple of Firewire 800 drives, so um, that's why I was going to buy that card. Now, there are a couple of differences between this card and the card that I was going to buy. Uh, difference number one, which is most noticeable, is this has three Firewire 400 ports. The one that I was going to get has two Fire four, Firewire 400 and one Firewire 800 port. Now, I do have a couple of Firewire 800 external drives. I won't be using them locally with the uh, Hackintosh. I'll be using them with the Mac mini server so um, that's not a massive problem there and also this is PCI standard PCI not PCI Express so that does mean that this will have to go right next to the graphics card and it's quite a big card um, but I don't think that will be a problem that won't interfere with the uh, fan on the graphics card I don't think guys the card I was looking at was PCI Express um, so that would have, that would have been a slot down, um, another slot down on the uh, on the four slot of micro ATX. I'm tripping over my words here. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, the card that I had in my wish list was based on the same Firewire chipset that Apple use in their actual Macs. So this will be interesting to see how well this works. But Matt, huge, huge, huge thank you, buddy. This is awesome because these things um, that are OS X compatible are quite expensive. And it's looking like quite a nice card. So that is the main donation. Very much appreciated. Let's see what else Matt has included. So 
Next up, we have a wristband. This is cool. As you guys know, I wear quite a lot of uh, bracelets, jewellery, wristbands, that kind of thing. And this is, more specifically, a Red Arrows wristband, which is really cool. Nice looking, so cheers for that, buddy. I shall stick that on my wrist, like so. And it brings a nice bit of colour onto my wrist. Next up, we have... <laughs> this is awesome. We have a pack of Top Trumps. This is Star Wars Top Trumps. As you guys know, Matt included, I think it was Top Gear Top Trumps in the previous donation. So let's take a quick look at these. If you guys aren't familiar with Top Trumps, then uh, you know, feel free to Google them or whatever. They are absolutely awesome and they're, they're a great time killer as well. Um, they're quite a cool thing to collect. I don't collect them. Um, I'm not sure if Matt does. I'm not sure where he's getting all of these Top Trumps. I'll have to ask him because it's quite a bizarre thing to have hanging around to donate, but yeah, Matt, if you could explain to me, then uh, that would be awesome. So, let's find out what else we got. We have got <laughs> another set of top trumps. Here we have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban top trumps, which is quite a late set. Um, Prisoner of Azkaban, I suppose, third movie. That's not really late. Uh, third book, I should say. God, what the hell am I like? Um, yeah, here they are. These feel in really nice condition. And these are actually... These are laid out slightly differently to your average top trumps. So yeah, that is really cool. I remember when these were a massive craze in my school. And um, also, we used to play them in work as well. When I first started in the cinema, um, there's a couple of, there's a couple of uh, sets in work. So that's really cool. So two sets of top trumps. And feeling around in here, I don't think there's a third set. Next thing we have, what is this? Oh, okay, cool. This is, <laughs> this is what my college dubbed the Biginator, which is basically a 3.5 mil to quarter inch jack headphone adapter, which is good for plugging in normal consumer headphones to professional TRS headphone jack outputs. Um, so we, we used to call these Biginators in college. And then here we have the opposite of that. This is a smaller Nator, which I've just made up on the spot, um, which is, you know, plugging in your um, headphones with a, a quarter inch jack to a, like an iPod or something that's got a three and a half inch jack on it. So I've got a lot of these, but they do definitely come in handy and uh, I do run around looking for them ever, ever so often. So it's always handy to have a few scattered across the place because they are very handy. So nice one, Matt. That is cool. Next up, we have something here that I'm not too... Not too sure what this is at the moment. This is... Oh, okay. This is a USB port, by the looks of it. A USB connector, maybe. I think. And then this is... This end. Oh, cool. This is um, one of these USB charger splitter things. So if you want to charge two devices from one port, you can do that with this. And it's quite a cool fold-up portable uh, keychain version. So that is really handy, guys. That should definitely come in handy. Even though I do no longer carry around two devices that get charged via uh, the USB connector. Of course, the iPad mini is lightning. So uh, that is different there. But yes, this is this will come in handy, guys. I've never seen one like this before. It's quite it's quite a cool little thing actually. It kind of clips together. I'm not sure if this is meant to stay clipped in. Um but yeah, that that is pretty cool. I've never seen one like that before. So, there we go. Let's move that off to the side. Coming up, we have what feels like a badge. This is a badge. Let's take it up closer to my face so I can read it. It is a loot crate of February 2015 badge. Which is intriguing. I do not subscribe to Loot, Loot Crate. I know Matt does, or maybe he doesn't anymore. I think he said he's subscribing to One Up Box now. A couple of YouTubers do that. Um, I know David DeFranco does it, the creative one, obviously. I really don't do it because I just cannot receive random junk every month um, for the hell of it. I don't really know. You know, I don't really know why that is a thing, really. Um, but yeah, here we have the badge, and it's pretty cool because this is my only Loot Crate item. So considering that Loot Crate is fairly famous around the YouTube world, um, the world of YouTubers, I guess, moderately famous, it is pretty cool to have a Loot Crate item. So Matt, huge thank you for that. I will not be wearing it because I have an awful habit of stabbing myself with those things. Um, but let's have a look. We have one last item in here, which is a book of some kind. Actually, no, we have two last items. Let's take a look. 
What do we have here? This is a... Whoa, guys. Whoa. Whoa. This... What is this? This is a dummy Galaxy S3 Mini. Oh, guys. This is... Why? What? Where did he get this? He's got a note in the bottom here. Let's read the note. Um, it says, Hi, Tom. Surprise. Hope you are doing good and having a good day. Sorry, but no video this time. Um, I haven't had the time to make it. As I was doing a bit of a clean up, I found these things and I thought you'd enjoy them. One of them is very friendly to hackers with a, oh, with hackers with a tosh, and it is, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm struggling uh, with the handwriting, you, you know my reading is uh, is not that great, and it's something I saw on your wish list, cool, that's the FireWire card, um, if you don't mind, spoilers, then feel free to look at the list on the back, ah, okay, so I have actually not read, I've not opened this in the right order, um, hope you enjoy this, and... Shout out to Matt, guys. Um, my camera probably is not going to focus on that, but he's drawn a little IMNC Android robot, so that is really cool. Um, he's basically written a load of stuff there. I did kind of trail off reading it in my own head in the middle of the clip there, so I'll have to do some editing. But this has kind of taken me by storm. And I'll tell you why this has taken me further by storm is because this is a dummy s3 mini in the exact same color my mum has the s3 mini um so i may be able to prank her with this which would be hilarious um even though this is in far worse condition than my mum's but it's kind of cool to have a dummy phone so i could have a lot of fun with this this is my first ever dummy phone um and it's cool to have a dummy smartphone so that is really cool was not expecting that at all guys so matt this is um one of the coolest things in this package so that is really cool let me put that off to one side and then we have this book so this is after reading the list an english copy of a french comic um, Asterix and the Cauldron, which actually looks really cool, guys. Now, I am not a massive comic guy. As you guys know, I'm a bit of a nerd, a bit of a geek. Um, you know, I like... Sorry, guys, that was the doorbell. But, yeah, as I was saying, I'm a bit of a nerd, a bit of a geek. I like, um, you know, my Doctor Who. I like my science fiction. And I like my computers and geeky stuff. But comics is something I've never gotten into, really, because, you know, definitely because of my eyesight as well. Like... For instance, something like this is kind of okay, but your average comic with very small text, I simply cannot read it. And this one actually looks as if I can pretty much read it. And of course, it's an English copy, so uh, yeah, I can read that. But that's a random comic, guys. It's very nice of Matt to send me that, actually. Um, it's really cool. So again, I'd like to say a massive thank you to you, Matt. Now, like I said at the start of the video, I am still not accepting donations. I am so sorry to all of those people that wanted to send me donations and they couldn't, but now I'm kind of contradicting you all, or whatever the word is, because I've unboxed this. Um, but this was a surprise from Matt, and all these other items are just bonuses. This is um, the main feature, which is, of course, the Hackintosh donation of the uh, Firewire card which I really hope works. So that is awesome. Thank you very much, Matt. There are a few random things in here. As you guys know, I am massively trying to clear out, so it was really nice that these were all small things, and I definitely can have some fun with this. Um, these are very handy. This is very cool, and I've never seen anything like it. You know, Top Trump's comic, good fun, and my first and hopefully only ever Loot Crate thing, um, because... I just don't really see Loot Crate as a thing, really, guys. But anyway, that's the topic for another video. Um, so, Matt, huge thank you, buddy. Sorry if I've sounded not very enthusiastic in this video, guys. I am absolutely up to my eyeballs in stressful situations. Um, but it is very nice to have little surprises like this from you guys to come home to. But, of course, that is not a regular thing because, again... I'm not accepting bit, I'm not accepting general donations. If it's a project related donation, that's different, but general donations, guys, I just can't do it. I haven't got the space to store the stuff. I'm so sorry. But I'm not going to end this video on a sad note. Massive thank you for watching everyone, and of course, as always, I will catch you in the next video which I really really hope will be something really exciting and project related whether it's Hackintosh or desk related or something really cool like that. Massive thank you guys and I will see you soon.